Welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. My name is Shannon and today we're going to learn how to create a cool retro image using images found off of Google Images. So the first thing to do um, is I'm going to grab this image here that I found and I'm actually going to create an image which is going to be 1280 by 720 and I'm just going to paste this into the image. And I'm going to be finding a couple more images here, so stick with me. I'm going to be looking for a boat image. And let's go with this one here. This one here is nice. that in there. And I'm just going to put in water. And let's actually put underwater. <clears throat> All right, so this one here looks pretty cool. So we'll grab this one. Grab this one here as well. All right. Going back, we're then going to grab a sky picture, some nice clouds, and I like this one here, so let's grab this. All right, now that we have our images, first thing I want to do is I want to take this sky and just kind of bring it over here and stretch that out a little bit. You know what, we'll just duplicate that over. And then edit, transform, flip horizontally. And we'll combine those two layers. And then we will grab our elliptical marquee tool, feather of five. And kind of like that. Grab the blur tool. Just kind of blur those clouds out there a little bit. Like that. Alright, and now I want to go ahead and simply cut out this bottom part here like that. And I'm going to go on my blur tool again, and I'm just going to blur the entire bottom of that image really well. Okay? And we're going to go ahead and hide that. Now I'm going to take this image here, bring it down to the very bottom, and then I'm going to drag this over to here, and again, duplicate it over. I'll get rid of that edge a little bit so that when I that way it looks just like that combine those two images and go to edit transform distort actually edit transform warp and I want to grab this point here drag it in and this point here Drag it in. Just kind of make it a nice wave like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and using my healing brush tool, I'm just going to paint this guy in here. 
And that's actually not turning out the way I want. So let's go back to the old feather technique. Put 15 on there. And back down to 5. that so that the guy is gone and use my blur tool here just kind of blur that out blur that out there we'll leave the scuba guy in here and go ahead and make this feather be five what I want to do now is I want to take this here and actually this here and I want to duplicate that over and then I'll take this here duplicate that over take some of this inner rock stuff here that way it appears as if it's going all the way across and that looks pretty good there as well and I'm gonna then going to go ahead and blur the top of that image again just like the other one all right, and that looks pretty good. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this image here or not, but what we can do is just kind of place it in here like so. And then we'll go to filter blur and Gaussian blur, or Gaussian blur, however you want to say it, like that go through the blending modes and we'll just kind of put it on there like that and that make changes the color of that water there a little bit and that looks pretty good I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this out like so I'm going to put this boat up here. Now I need to go ahead and cut this boat out. So, quick selection. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll edit it uh, out a little bit later. go to edit transform flip horizontally and then we'll use our eraser tool and we just gotta erase out some parts of this image here all this extra stuff off of here as well. We don't really need all that. And from the inside here, that placing that boat there all right 
And now for the person, you can see here she's holding this sign. And we'll go ahead and use our quick selection on her as well. all of this here leading the white around her hair Just go through here, repaint that in. Alright, so now that we have that, we can go ahead and select this cloud line level, invert the selection, control C, control X, control V to place it back, and we'll go and line it up like so. And now that I've done that, we need to go ahead and simply go to color selection. Um, paint over that go to color and then select her out invert the selection delete so it looks as if she's actually under the water and yeah that's why she's actually under the water and actually let's go back in through there and then we'll also select out and that way we'll also go into here and use our paintbrush tool and just kind of paint that there so it looks like it's actually in the water correctly and that's looking pretty good um, last thing I want to do is I want to go to my custom shapes tool 
and load the animals and I see the bird one here yeah, I'm just gonna put a couple of birds in here that looks pretty cool there now the last thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and make this whole thing look really cool so I'm gonna go back to Google and I'm going to go to find some grunge uh, images here and this one here is pretty cool copy that paste that over the whole image and then we'll go to overlay and we'll lessen the opacity on that we'll find some more grunge stuff here and this one here looks pretty cool and that looks pretty cool so I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson on how to create a cool retro background. Uh, be sure to leave a comment below with what you thought. This is just a basic lesson to kind of get you started, and we hope to see you in more lessons. Be sure to subscribe and comment below. and Be sure to show that like button some love. Later.